My father was a professor in various capacities in the Department of Education for many years at Indiana State, so many of his colleagues would go to Indiana State football and basketball games, and growing up, I became a part of that scene there. Well, believe it or not, he got his master's and PhD from Michigan State University right there, and then had an offer at Indiana State to join the staff. So he came in the early 1960s and was there through 1997. He also taught a non-credit class at Indiana State in stained glass right there, and he wanted to make a tribute to the Indiana State Championship basketball team. I was the one that convinced him to add the blue eye right there because originally he just had the red eye and the basketball, and I said, people won't know what that stands for. They don't know it might be like Bobby Knight's 32-0 Indiana team right there. So that kind of clarified it for everybody that might see it on display. He just always loved stained glass and uh, he didn't have any formal training at all. He just taught himself. He started out making candles and uh, he would uh, make the, the different designs of stained glass on the side of glass and then put a, a candle in the middle and uh, then from there he went on to uh, oh, animals and uh, various other stained glass things. I would say this was number one. That was his favorite project of all. He was so proud of the team and he was such a fan of ISU um, basketball, soccer, football, and um, it, it was just something that meant a lot to him. We had, it was a tribute to his craftsmanship that he put into it and also you know, to honor the basketball team and the memories that brought the entire Indiana State and Terre Haute communities, and it has a lot of meaning in it with the 33 blue squares and the one green square right there. And the number one signifies the fact we can actually claim the national championship in the AP and UPI polls. We can say Michigan State won the NCAA tournament <laughs> and we're number one.